M0FXB. Here's the, uh, the Bridgecom website where you can download firmware and CPS for, um, software for doing your code plug on at Anytone 878. We'll open up the CPS, we'll do a blank one. I've always thought the best way to learn how your DMR radio works and how DMR is structured is to write a, a very basic code plug from scratch and then gradually add channels. We'll start off by uh, entering our DMR ID. So you've got this window open. Double click digital. Enter your DMR ID by going to number one here. Double click. We'll just for now put three, just put a random number in there. And the call sign, we'll put mine in for now. And you can put your name as well on that. That's, that's pretty much the, the, the most important part. Your radio won't work without your on digital without your DMR number. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is start creating channels. So we've got a couple of channels here already. So there's there's a channel there. What we're going to do is make that our hotspot. So we'll double click it. We'll keep these frequencies as a hotspot frequency, but use the one that's in your Pi Star system, and we'll call it hotspot. Hot spot. Okay, for now. We're going to have to create a zone. You can't really create any channel unless you've got a zone to put the channel into. Zones, you could have, say, say three or four zones on your radio, and each zone could, say, have 20 channels. It's, it's just the way, the, it's just the mechanics of a radio. So, go to zone. At the top, this is our first zone, so double click it, and we'll call this zone Hotspot. So, we've created a zone. We'll just chuck this channel across so it saves so just click hotspot and these are channel here in this list will be all the channels that you create there'll basically be lots of channels with talk groups or FM repeaters but you could put simplex channels so you send it across and that's in your zone now we'll click OK go back to the channel um, yeah it's looking fine we've got the zone created hotspot now we, the other part is the talk group. Pretty much, you have to have a talk group um, for every channel you create. You can create lots of channels with the same talk group, but you have to have a talk group. And the most common one is talk group nine for a hotspot. So we'll put in two G T G nine here, and then the number, which is super important, because you can get the title wrong. It doesn't matter. If you get the number wrong, it does matter because that's taking you to that group. So click OK. So we now have a talk group called TG9. Go back to the channel, double click the one for your hotspot, and we'll we have to, well it's already default put it here, but if you click here where it says TG9, you've got the talk group there. Now what we'll do just so you can see, we'll add another talk group that's popular. We'll cl always click OK. So talk group, uh, we'll go underneath and just double click another another one there. We'll call this one TG91, which is a very busy worldwide talk group. There, you always select group call, uh, and then we'll put in the number 91. Click OK. You've got two talk groups now. At the moment, you've only got one digital channel. Uh, so let's just go back to that channel number one. Okay. So we're just checking everything's right. The color code is important. I think that's color code one, slot one's okay for now. I, I don't change the simplex thing. You've selected digital here. High, well, I might as well select mid power. So that channel to me will work on your hotspot now. You've got two simplex frequencies here. Click OK. Let's just do another one. Um, Again, the frequency doesn't really matter that much, but anyway, you've let's say you do it the same frequency as your hotspot. Again, um, all this is the same, but this time click here and select the other one, which is talk group 91. You can see it's there now, and up here, rename it as well the channel TG91. So now you've got two digital channels. And if they were both on the same frequency, they would both 
when you key the mic on the 878, um, they would both change, they would actually change you from talk group 9 to talk group 91. There are other ways to do that, but that would work. So you could have, say, eight of your favorite digital channels, talk groups, programmed here in the, li here in the list. And then you'll be able to just turn the, the channel changing knob on the 878, create the, go to the channel you like, key the mic, as long as no one's talking, your hotspot will take you to that channel. Uh, most people do start off from talk group 9 anyway, and then what they can do is you can go into the radio and manually type in, uh, but if you hold down the zero, then hash, then type in the number, then hash, the radio will take you there as well. That's another way of doing it. So we'll just create one more zone and we'll go underneath here and we'll call it um, analog repeater. This is just so you can create a few channels for your local repeaters. My typing's terrible, it doesn't really matter. Right, OK, click OK. Hang on, no, it won't OK unless you send the channel across to it. So let's go back to channel, create a new channel. We'll call it GB3ZB. Uh, the receive on that one is 430.825. Transmit is, I think it's 434.825. Um, right, we're in analog mode this time. Um, so you've got receive, transmit, we're just going to need the tone, which is be encode. So you go down to CTCSS, choose that one 77, so you choose your tone frequency, 77. Put the power to medium. You could add it to a scan list if you wanted to, but that's, I think that's for future. This is just a very simple writing of a code plug, so click OK. So you've created the channel, now you need to put it into a zone. So we're going to create the zone first. We're going to call it um, FM Repeater for now. And then we've got ZB here, we're going to send it across. There you are. So that's your list of channels. But this is a zone. So when you're going up and down through your zones on that radio now, you will literally only have two zones. One will be called a hotspot. One will be called FM Repeater. When you go into those zones, you'll be able to turn the middle knob and select the few channels that we've created. But you could go on and on and on now. Once you know how to create a hotspot channel and an FM repeater, you know, so analog channel, then you can just start adding loads and loads and loads of channels. Uh, M0FXB, let's hope that this, is, uh, this helps.